Hello everyone, my name is Casual Prince Ator Sham, and welcome back to Little Nightmares. Um, it's actually been a few weeks since I've played this game. Um, I've been, I was a little busy um, over the last couple of weeks doing some stuff for my other channel. Um, but yeah, I'm back now. And we, uh, last time, we played the Hideaway DLC, and, um, if you haven't watched that video, um, those two videos, then I would advise going back and watching those, and if you haven't, if this is the first video of my playthrough of Little Nightmares you're watching, I would advise going back and watching the whole thing, because, uh, you're gonna want to. But anyway, um... Spoilers ahead, um, I, I, I warned you. So we played the hideaway last time, and we finally uh, got all of Norbert's extended family together and powered the engine. And we discovered a very dark secret about the gnomes, and that is that the gnomes were once children. And... We left the hideaway and fell onto an elevator that just so happened to have our favourite resident of the moor, the lady, inside it. So, we are now onto the third and final DLC of Little Nightmares. After this, the game is done and we're gonna have to wait for the sequel. Which is... The Residence. We are going into the ladies' quarters, and we're going to be seeing sections that we didn't see when we played, um, when we played through it in Six's campaign. Now, first of all, like I said, this is the last DLC, so this is going to decide the fate of the runaway kid. This will also, um, reveal why the gnomes are the way they are. And in reference to sort of what Six is doing right now, we saw, um, we, while we were in the hideaway, we saw a security camera that had Six on it. And basically, while RK is in the residence, um, Six is, as you can see, Six is going to be navigating through the kitchen and the dining room. Um, so... Basically, that's where the stories interconnect. So, without further ado, let's get on to the final DLC, The Residence. I'm excited. I'm also kind of terrified, because, um... The residence is a very creepy place, and there's a lot of creepy things in the residence that I'm terrified to come across again. And there's actually, um, a f the, I've got to stop, I've got to stop saying, um, so much. <laughs> it's just something I, I, I say when I just trip over my words. But basically, what I was going to say is there's actually some Easter eggs in this DLC that actually tied to Little Nightmares too, so that's kind of weird that they planned that far ahead. But anyway. Here we go. And there we are. Right where we left off, we're on top of the elevator, we're at the very top. We can't see into the elevator, but given that it stopped, I don't think the lady's inside it anymore, so... Oh, God. Already messing up. So let's swing over, grab the hook. I really didn't think we were going to make that then. And we swing, we, we swing over to the hole. Like so. Oh, I just grabbed it. Oh, there's a gnome up there. Hey, buddy. Not sure what they're doing up there. Oh, there's a lot of them. What is this? There's just a lot of books. 
they went this way, there's got to be some sort of like... Oh, almost went in it then. Is there... A, is, come on, they, di they didn't... There's another one of those weird doll things there. They didn't just go into the into the wall and disappear. I can tell that there's some sort of hole here. Let me, let, let me through. Or did they just fall Houdini? Okay, I'm starting to think they full who do need. And that gnome is gnome's just up there. Anyway, let's, let's carry on. We've got bigger problems than gnomes to worry about. That atmosphere. Welcome to the ladies' quarters, everyone. It's unfortunate that we have to be back here again, but, uh, here we are. It's actually quite nice, like, you, it, it's an alright looking place if you don't account for the fact that it's owned by a creepy psychopathic witch lady with magic. And here's the elevator. Oh, there's literally a picture of her there. Can we go this way? No, it's just... Yeah, and we can't climb either. I'm... Actually, like I'm, I mentioned at the end of the last video that I think th that I thought this was the elevator that we saw her go into in Six's campaign. Given that it takes us out here and not where um, it, it took an, it took us out a, at a different place that where Six went to, so I don't think that's the same elevator. Either that, or it just took it just took her to a different floor of her. Quarters, I guess that's also possible. Would you look at that? I believe that must be a picture of her before she had to wear a mask. And whatever happened, happened to her. I also very much do not like this corridor. So let's quickly go back out. This place isn't kept in sort of the best condition. Okay, sorry about that, everyone. Um, I, I was literally, you may have heard my voice sort of falter a bit. That's because as I was just walking down this corridor, I looked to my, to my left, and there was just like this, um, this spider just literally webbing down my wall in a very creepy manner, so I just had to sort of pause and, uh, get that out of my room. Um medium-sized spider. I'm not arachnophobic, but I, I, I don't like big spiders. I'm alright with small ones, like, smallish ones, but it, if they're medium or large size, no. Like, uh, the other day there was this gigantic spider in, in my house, and it was absolutely terrifying. Anyway, let's carry on. We've got worse things to worry about than spiders right now. But you can hear some music. I'm going to switch my flashlight off. There she is. She's just listening to a music box and sort of stroking a, a doll. God, how big does your ego have to be to have a music doll, like, 
in the shape of yourself. Now there's a key there, so we're gonna have to come back here, but now remember this song because it's actually gonna play later in a very emotional scene. Yeah. We, we're, we're fine. Wow, her place is big. Ooh. Well, there's a gnome leading us somewhere, so we may as well follow it. There's a lot of ground to cover in this place, so... Oh, I, I, re I remember this. I know exactly what's about to happen. I think. Hmm. I think we have to sort of push one off. Or maybe we can't at this current time. I thought there was something we could do to trigger this. I'm guessing that's a bit later, maybe? Yeah, yeah, I think it's a bit later. Okay, back out we go. I think we can actually switch these lights off. No, 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 let's, let's not do that. <laughs> I don't know why you'd want to do that. Like, apart from the fact, like I say, that we're in a place owned by a psychopathic magic wielder lady, it's actually a really nice place. A good decor. I mean, pink's not really my colour, but it's, it's not a pink, it's not like a hot pink. Sort of a palish, well, it's a, it's a pale hot pink, so I guess I'm alright with it. But it, it's a nice place, is what I'm saying. Ah, I remember what we need to do here. It's not obvious at first, but you see here, there's a gap. And we need books that fit the pattern. Um, I don't think this is... Oh, this, this, this one goes over here. There we go. Then... I believe this... This one goes here, I think. There we go, perfect. And then it's this one. No, I think this. I think that's just a brown book. This looks like one half of the lady's face, but I'm not actually seeing that pattern anywhere. Let's look around because this this chapter does have a fair few hidden secrets. No, I don't see anything. No one half of the lady's face. Maybe that maybe we grab that book and it's for somewhere else. Let's climb up this ladder because I don't see the other book that we need anywhere down there. Ah, there it is. Can we not? Do we have to go across? How do we get up here? No, don't jump off, okay. Oh, I forgot you have ankles of steel. Which is... Oh, right, yeah, I forgot. We can shift it. 
lovely jubbly. Now, did we? No, we, there's no, there's no gaps in there either. Okay, now we can climb it. No, don't jump off. You fully smacked your head then, RK. I, I, honestly, how how are you surviving all of this? For a kid, your body is made of, like, titanium. These are the books up here, and we'll just drop that down. We've got to be careful. Oh, I was going to say we've got to be careful not to fall off, but frankly, I don't think it would phase RK at all. There's nothing else up here. What was that? Oh, there's nothing. I, I'm, like, I, like I said, I don't think a fall would phase him, but just for safety, we're gonna, we're gonna climb. We're gonna climb. Or you could just drop down, I, I, I don't care, as long as you live, I'm, I'm not bothered how we get down, to be perfectly honest, mate. We can get down however. So we grab this book, slot it in there. And the door is open. Spooky scary. And there is one of the dolls we need. We're gonna need that. And there's a creepy picture of an eye there. And a picture of something covered up. Not sure what that is. Right, grab it, okay. Let's get the heck out of here. And once again, I'm looking for that, um, can we push this, like, back this way? No, we can't. I'm looking for the space where that other half of the book goes. I'm certain it goes somewhere. I'm just afraid I'm being a rampant idiot again. And just not spotting it when it's completely obvious. So you can see this book is absolutely one half of the lady's face, but there's like there's nowhere to put it. Oh well. If the need arises we can always come back for it. We'll keep an eye out. In the meantime, we have a statue now. And you can hear that the music is still on, which means that the lady is still there, so we're alright for now. No, 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 me no lucky, me no lucky. You can still faintly hear the music, I think we're good. Okay, so what we do, you see the, this one, this statue has a square base. So we put that on here. And now we need two others. And something very terrifying is going to happen once we put, uh, I think, one other on there, so we need to be careful. Anyway, let's head up here. Go this way. We need to keep an eye out for the, for the book slot. Aha, here is the other statue. I think it might actually be in this room that something terrible happens. Oh yeah, it absolutely is. Oh god, put it back. Just put it back, please. Put it back. Oh, right, yeah, 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 I remember what we need to do now, I'm, I'm being an idiot. Yes, 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 what we need to do, because that one that we just saw, 
which is made out of stone. The other one that we put on there was actually made out of wood. What we need to do, we need to grab this sort of wooden substitute. Grab it from here, because you can see all the rest are stone. So this wooden one, no, don't put it on there. Please don't put it on there. I thought that it was in this room that the ceiling was going to sort of drop down. Um, luckily that's not the case. But what we need to do, we need to take this wooden substitute statue, we need to put it on the one in there, so that we don't get crushed by the ceiling, and we can take the stone one and put it down there. That is what we need to do. So I'll put this one just here. Is the ceiling, yeah, the ceiling's gone back up. Take this one. Sorry, Mr. I. We'll be out of your way in a minute. There we go. Have a nice wooden one. There we go. Don't exactly know why the lady would have all of these things in her, in her quarters. Maybe she's, I don't know. I don't know. I, like, I, I've, I've got no idea. Maybe she's into puzzles. Maybe she played too much Portal as a kid, I don't know. Right, so we slap this right here. There we go. One down, two to go. So let's head back out. I keep checking and just pausing and listening because I don't like it. Um, I, I just don't... I just want to, like, make sure that she's always... Um, oh yeah, we've got to move this. I just want to make sure that she's always there, and I always know that she's not, like, about to start chasing us or anything. So let's head up here. And there is... There's a lever here. Let's grab this. This turns this on, and this is a puzzle. So what happens in this? And then we grab this lever. And I believe it, yeah, it turns it. Okay. So I think, can't tell if something's like blocking it, um, or no, we ca I don't think we can grab the lever again, no, so I just think we have to keep pushing the button. Hmm. There we go. So that did something. I can't even, I'm not even sure what that did. Ah, they opened this door. And there's an elevator there. Okay, um... Okay, this is horrifically dark. And horrifically creepy. Oh, this is major levels of sketch. I believe this is where we'll find something pretty creepy. And also something that ties into Little Nightmares too. Be on your guard. Now, there's a lot of portraits here. A hell of a lot of them. There's actually the granny there. There's one of the chefs, I believe. One of the guests. There's the ferryman. The wax bellman. There's the janitor up there. I think it's in the next room, the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, let's go into the next room. Yeah, a lot of portraits here. Hmm. 
Yes. There she is. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the teacher. The the pi that picture there is a picture of the teacher. Now it's funny because although we didn't know this at the time, the teacher is actually an antagonist in Little Nightmares 2. And it's very curious that the lady would have a portrait of someone from the mainland. And I reiterate something that I said um, in an earlier video on this game. Apparently, in the world of Little Nightmares, the moor is the only place that makes sense. So considering the place we're in, apparently this boat that we've been travel that we've been travelling around for the for the entirety of this game is a place that makes sense. What does that say about the rest of the world? And I'm gonna hit the button. Do we really just have to turn them all on? That seems a bit of a a simple task. Let's try it. Okay, so not that one. Ah, uh, so it has to be in an order. Okay. Maybe we just don't turn on those ones. Oh, I think I, I think I understand it. Yeah, we have to switch on the ones that are in here. Okay. So, like, the teacher, the teacher's not in there, neither is that one. Should be this one. And then, that one's definitely in there. As is this one. Uh, this one is, I believe. And then... That one is two. There we go! Bingo bango. Job done. Ah, uh, yes. I know what's about to happen. In the words of David Tennant, the Tenth Doctor, almost every species in the universe has an irrational fear of the dark. But it's not irrational. It's Vashta Narada. No, it's not actually Vashta Narada this time. It's something ten times worse. Oh god. Drop the statue, okay? Oh, 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 okay. That was not what I was expecting to happen. I, I'm gonna be brutally honest. I think what I'm thinking of will happen after we've managed to get out of there. Okay, so we're back here, thank God. So we'll just, just grab the statue. There we go. Oh, we've we've dropped the statue in a really inopportune place. Oh god. No, 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 no. Oh god, okay. New plan! We don't drop the statue about ten feet from where we currently are. How about that for a plan? Oh, I, I'm, I, I almost just want to keep dying on this point because I don't want to face what comes next. Okay, 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 we got this, we got this, we got this. Grab it, okay. There we go. We're good. Okay, we're gonna wait. When it turns to the other side again. Okay, we're good. Gonna go right, we'll wait a bit. Go 
left again. Come on, okay, you can make, you can make it. Oh, ho, ho, that was way too close. There's a button there. What the hell is that button for? Quee. I think we might have to throw the statue at. I've never noticed that before. Oh, okay, just opens the door. I didn't even realize that it wasn't open. Oh, we're gonna have to be quick. Got the statue. Why do you have to do that? Why do you have to play ominous music? Please don't do that. Oh god, they're, they're, they're gonna be here, they're gonna be here, they're gonna be here, they're gonna be here, they're here, they're Oh, no, 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 I saw one, I saw one, I saw one. No, 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 they're here, they're here, they're here, they're here, they're here. But thank... Ultimate Lemons, we can still hear the music boxes, that means... The lady's still there. But for how much longer? Put this one there. There we go. Oh, oh. Oh, why have you done this? Oh, please. Oh, please, God Almighty, why have you done this? Okay, everyone, I'm going to end this episode here. Because the, the devices on the moor are apparently utter sh Um... Us placing that statue there has turned out every single... Well, not every single, but most lights in this place. And as you can hear... No more music box. Let's go and have a quick look. Oh no, 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 they're here. No, no, I'm not having a quick look. Forget that. No, forget that. I'm staying in here where it's nice and safe. Okay, so we've turned out pretty much every light in the residence and now Frankly, the lady is the least of our concerns. Because now we have to deal with the shadow children. And they are not to be tampered with. So everyone, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm going to go and do something that isn't terrifying. And I'm going to dread recording the final part of this series because I absolutely this is, <laughs> this is terrifying I've forgotten how terrifying this DLC was I thought the depth was bad Th no this is worse this is ac this is actually worse so thanks a lot for watching if you did enjoy make sure to leave a like subscribe if you haven't already and click that bell if you want to be notified the minute i upload the final episode of little nightmares oh boy so thanks a lot for watching everyone i will see you on another video very very soon goodbye everyone